Hi, what up guys? This is uh Shanga99 aka X Vectors and uh yeah here's my name. Uh, a lot of you guys uh that know me off Xbox or just YouTube know me as Michael, that is my name and uh yeah this is just my uh actual name, Michael's my middle name. No homo. <laughs> Not joking. Alright, so um so I'm gonna be showing you guys something. Uh, um, that's I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually get uh this text. This one goes out to Quickscope Havoc. You, yeah, I'm putting up this video for you, man. Uh, I know you were asking me how to get fonts on, so I'm gonna recommend you check out this video. Uh, so you're gonna type in photo shop text import uh, text import tutorial or real alright so you can either type that in or you can continue to watch so I've already done this um so I'm going to show you quickly how to do it alright so as you see here alright I got all these in alright so uh, so here's a font that you actually wanted birth of the hero uh, here's some other fonts right here. These are all fonts there. Uh, uh, this is a brush and a brush. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to get those. Alright, so a good site that I found uh, is actually a very popular site. And uh, so I just checked this one out. So you're gonna, the quick way to find this is um, photo shop uh, br brushes. Download. Alright, so you type that in, and then here we go. Brush Easy. Uh, this is actually where I got my brushes, and it's a really good site. So you want to click on Brush Easy. Alright, so um, I'm gonna figure out what brush I want. So the one that I actually have, uh, Particle Smoke, is so Particle Smoke and just Real Smoke. So Ah, uh, here. Here's a really cool one. But, now uh, let's see what else I want. Strokes. I'll, I'll, I'll do strokes. Alright, so you download. Number set. Yeah, there. That's it. You preview it. This is what all the different strokes look like. Um, yeah. Just know that when they open up, they're going to all be the size of underneath. Right there. And, uh, so you just close that. And download the file. So I'm gonna, so the reason I picked a new one is that so I can actually show you how to do it. So my download's done. It's gonna open into a WinRAR file. So one a opens into a WinRAR file. It's gonna show up here and click README. Blah blah blah. It's set for CS2. Um, I'm not really sure if this will work in CS5, which I have, but I'm going to try right now. So hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the actual brush, which is right here. So, see, this is the brush. It's gonna be right here. I'll show you how to get to it. Click up here. Alright, so it's gonna be in strokes 04. Not this. This is not gonna be it. Or you can go through it. But it's not even gonna take you to brush. So, I recommend just going through the actual strokes 04 here. And you'll find Bombay. Alright, so it's gonna. I see there, I clicked it twice. Alright, so Adobe Photoshop CS5 right down there. Alright, so this is gonna import it direct. Uh, if you do have problems with this, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot it in two seconds here. And uh, I'm just gonna wait. Initializing panels, la la. Alright, <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna go uh, here. Yeah, click on my actual Photoshop. So it's loading. Alright, so new. Um, okay, I really don't care right now. Just get a new, whatever. It's cool. Just let it load. Alright, so as you see here. Alright, so. Uh, here's how you do it. Okay, so pretty much to select it, you click your brush. Go through here. Alright, so I'm gonna look for. Remember approximately their shape? And then it'll be a lot easier to quite frankly find these files. 
So they should be at the bottom, as you see here, depending on which one you downloaded first. Alright, so I'm going to show you just like, this is the easy way to do it. Like, different strokes, la la. Alright, here. I'll show you just a quick preview of it. Uh, what are the different actual strokes? Alright, so there's one. Uh, this one I've actually seen at my friend's house, and uh, I particularly don't mind uh, this. Uh, that's the reason I kind of picked this one, other than it being random, and since it was on the first page, I really don't care. And note that you can actually lower the size down to whatever you want, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, so, now that you got this in here, there's going to be another thing right here. You click a new preset from the brush, you can do that. I click this arrow, which is going to pop up, saying small thumbnail, this is all your settings. Alright, so you guys want to see if this doesn't work for you, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Alright. Okay, so you're just going to close that. Alright, so this is if it doesn't work. So you want to right click, extract to the specified folder, go to desktop, or in my case I can just go straight to my Photoshop fonts and brushes. <laughs> I love this folder. It's just so epic. <laughs> anyway, so my files are up there so you don't want to put it in there you should probably just label a folder so that's right click on your desktop new folder or you can put it in one of these other things like public yeah whatnot and so you want to click on this extract and replace file um, when it updates yes uh, so ask before overwrite yeah you want that on just in case if you do not want it if it does actually overwrite something like randomly starts tripping out uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be something you need, and, yeah, alright, so you want to click OK. Alright, so, this definitely works, this is actually how I got my font, I'm going to do fonts next, okay, so, I clicked it, I'm going to open up this, and it should be right here, stroke so four, and then, click this, I'm just going to copy it, alright, so, I copy, go back, Uh, paste it in there so then now you can actually just get the folder out of here so you don't actually if you don't want the folder there it's gone um, and there we go brush is still up there uh, so yeah that's pretty much how you do it and then whenever you want to use it it should actually go directly into your um, CS5 whatever you got Let's see, uh, let's prove it, even though it says CS2, it actually works on CS5. So, um, uh, actually, I don't want it, I don't want this to take forever to fucking upload. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna do a second video, don't forget to check that one out, and, uh, thanks, you guys. Uh, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and, uh, just message me if you guys want me to do any background YouTube uh, backgrounds, I mean, uh, desktop backgrounds, I'm open only to Xbox Live friends to do actual desktop backgrounds, um, yeah, and then, it's just like, couldn't get rid of this, <laughs> fucking school project, <laughs> anyways, so, um, yeah, don't forget to check that out, peace!